Yes, yes, y'all, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel, and I'm so excited for today's episode. So, welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. And today, guys, it was episode 5 of Forza Horizon 5 Let's I Go, where we got the first look at Forza Horizon 5's map finally at last, guys. But first off in today's video, we're starting off with the second race from Forza Horizon 5 and this is the Mullage Town Scramble. So this is like a cross country rally event um, and it's only the second race that we've seen for Forza Horizon 5 but it just looks beautiful. Everything about the races, um, the environments, um, the biosomes, all this shit, all looks amazing guys, all looks absolutely fantastic. So if you're enjoying the videos guys, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Every like and subscriber helps the channel grow so much. Um, if you're enjoying the videos and you feel like you want to comment on the video, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section down below. Now guys, the 6th Festival Horizon sites in Forza Horizon 5 and I do believe that this is going to be adjoined to one of them with I think a purchasable player house but um, that was a little detail Mike Brown from Playground Games kind of let slip so um, it, it really does look amazing does Forza Horizon 5 absolutely amazing um, again guys uh, stay tuned in this video we're going to be taking an in-depth look at Forza Horizon 5's map so the full map, the full official map, um, and to be honest guys, I think the footage of Forza Horizon 5 literally speaks for itself. Um, the map looks fantastic, it does look like the biggest Horizon map that we've had so far. Um, stay tuned to the channel, because after this video we'll be bringing you an in-depth look on the um, brand new Toyota Supra, which is going to be in Forza Horizon 5 day one guys not like Forza Horizon 4 where we have to pretty much wait like a full lifespan of a game before we got Toyota Toyota is going to be in Forza Horizon 5 from day one guys and it was the first look at the one of the new cars that's going to be in Forza Horizon 5 and I just hope that they're gonna not disappoint us and keep going with the JDM cars and even bring in some newer older cars if this makes any sense so cars that we've kind of had in like Forza Motorsports um, they, they sh and they've not made it to Forza Horizon games for some reason and um, so let's keep our fingers crossed on that guys this car list is going to be amazing the map looks amazing we're going to head over now guys and jump straight to Forza Horizon 5 map so this is a full official map and um, it's been a long time coming and there's been quite a lot of speculation um, on like Forza Horizon 5 map details but this is the official dropped today full Forza Horizon 5 map um, and guys I will be throwing up a thumbnail or should I say a screenshot of the full map for you I'm going to be throwing that up in the top left corner right about now so um, Guys, the map looks amazing. It does look like it's the biggest Forza Horizon 5 map that we've had. I should say the Forza Horizon map. It does look like the biggest one so far. Mike Brown was being truthful when he turned around and said we are going to be getting the longest highway that we've ever had in a Forza Horizon game. Um, all that's visible on this map. And uh, this is a really detailed look from the live stream on Forza Horizon 5's new map and um, guys the drifting roads um, I'm, I've, I've been looking at certain parts of the map and I can just see like certain circuit races and sprints and a lot of places where we can do tug style events um, there's a, a full racetrack and there's a stadium the um, I do believe that they have got the roads perfect this time Forza Horizon 3 it was a little bit sparse for roads. The map were quite big though. Forza Horizon 4 map seemed really small, but there was like I think twice as many roads, and it just didn't feel right, guys. But the overall look and feel so far, Forza Horizon 5 looks like Mike Brown and the team at Playground Games have literally hit the nail on the head with like the most perfect map I've seen so far, guys. 
This is the start of the highway, as you can just see to your left, to the right is the coast. Now, um, from my previous speculation on the Forza Horizon 5 map, before it officially got released, um, I don't believe we were that far off, to be honest, or like my personal opinion or thoughts on what the map are going to look like. I think, yeah, yeah, I think we're pretty bang on. I mean, just looking at the structures of the roads and some of them do look quite strange though guys some of the crossroads do look very it'd be nice to see what they're actually like in game um, actually driving on the road because on the map itself there seems to be a lot of kinks in the roads it looks like loads and loads of really good drift roads and um, we've got an airport back so Forza Horizon 5, we do have the return of a proper air strip, drag strip, which is really good. Um, yeah guys, I don't really know what to say about the map. I'm kind of speechless as um, the map has not let me down. Um, I did think it was going to be pretty poor to be honest. Um, I've not had good expectations of maps for racing games. And that's nothing against Forza Horizon or Team 10. Um, it's just general racing games. Usually the maps are really, really small. Um, usually the roads could have been thought out a little bit better. But Mike Brown and the team at Playground Games and Forza Horizon 5 have absolutely smashed it. So this is a really in-depth look. And it does feel more like Forza Horizon 2. The actual map. The way it's got all its little... Um, little areas little regions all labeled and stuff it does feel very far as horizon too guys but again if you're liking the videos guys smash the like button smash the subscribe button feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below as you can see guys here's the airstrip in the airport which i am really really pleased that that's making a return back a proper airstrip as well guys because the one in Forza horizon 4 was just really really poor um yeah not very good for drag racing at all. Uh, Forza Horizon 4 wasn't that good for drag racing and it was a little bit sparse for drifting. Um, Fortune Island were quite good. But this map here guys, Forza Horizon 5 map, looks absolutely amazing. It looks like they've got loads of different places where we could go drag race, loads of different places where we could go drift. It looks like a really interesting and eye-catching map to actually drive around. I thought Forza Horizon 4 was quite bland. Um, I am from the UK, so the U driving around a little UK map, it didn't really interest me that much. That was kind of a downer before launch. Whereas Forza Horizon 5, I can't wait guys. I wish it was um, launching tomorrow. I wish it could play tomorrow. Um, we're going to be having a, an in-depth look now at the Toyota Supra. That's going to be the next video that I'm going to throw up just after this one, guys. So I hope you're enjoying the content. Um, the video kind of speaks for itself, really, guys. I just wanted to bring you a quick video, show you um, what's been announced for Forza Horizon 5. As I said, I was going to bring you the official map once it dropped. Um, yeah. So, uh smash the like button smash the subscribe button feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below stay tuned for the toyota super video plus um, a little small video just discussing uh, menu screens and just the overall atmosphere so until them two videos guys stay safe peace Tell me that you love me